Hello viewers, welcome once more to this channel. I hope you often enjoy your stay whenever I open this channel. I'm still your humble presenter for the moment, Milton Mundi. I, in this today's tutorial, I will be teaching us, I will be drilling our viewers on how to enter account numbers in this program. Remember, we said it's an accounting software. An accounting software cannot actually operate properly without account numbers inside the software. As a matter of fact, accounting recordings, as we all know, are often done using account numbers. So in this section of the program, I will be teaching us on how to record account numbers inside the, the chart of account database, which is a section in this program where all account numbers that will be used in conducting recordings are must to be entered there. Must to be entered there, if you could pardon me. So I'm going to drill on how to go about that. Actually, I started by explaining to you in some other, in some previous videos, tutorials, how or what all these menus here stands for. The file menu is function, the edit menu is function, the structure menu. As a matter of fact, in order to record account number or account numbers in this software, you have to go to structure, click on chart of account. This chart of account actually is a database for all account numbers that you are to use in recording in this software. Actually, if an account number is not identified in this chart of account database, you can't use it in conducting any recording. Now, I want to focus a bit for all the viewers. I always like that you should permit me for this very first phase of the program, for this particular phase of the program. Remember, we said this one, this particular program for now is titled Revision Without Border. Revision Without Border means we are revising students that are going for HND 2021 accounting practical paper that, will, that is, is written in, in weeks to come. That we are actually preparing them towards that exam for the moment. That doesn't also stop us from preparing lecturers and working class people have difficulties at a certain level in the program. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create account numbers. So what in order to create account number, I need to limit it start over and go to structure. And I take on this very first option in the list of options that we display under the structure menu. I take on chart of account. And in this option that in this window that displays to me, I right click inside and I take on Add new element. Another window will, will appear like this to me. In the first session, they say number. Whenever, a, in order to save students time in the exam, please, whenever you open this section, there's some key account number that you should always enter them. First, before checking on what is in your question paper, what I need to record as an account number on your question paper. So those key account numbers are seven, sorry, 131, which stands for net profit. Net profit. If you are done recording, you click on the enter key on your keyboard. The next one is 139. Go to that's a and that on that number enter 139 and level of name. I click on name and write there net lost. Please remember we are using the whole accounting plan. The whole accounting plan, this all these things are found inside could verify. The next account number to use now is 401. Which are actually uh, at the level of number enter for the level of name. It stands for supplier. Take on enter or go to next. On that number again, enter 411. Under uh, I move the section for name. I write there customers. Customers. And I take on enter on my keyboard. The next account number now I'm to record is 521, which stands for local bank. As for the Ohara accounting plan, local bank. The next account number is 571, which actually stands for head office cash. I take on next or oh, enter on my keyboard. I have it validated here and validated from here and is recognized by being entered there. The next account number, another very essential account number to me is 601, which actually stands for. Purchase of goods.
purchase of goods and I click on enter. And another very important account number I should enter is 701 on level of number and I click on sales of goods. Sales of goods. So please, this account number, why do you record this account number? This account number that will often be found that you, you, you rarely found them on your question paper, for the exam, for example, but you re, you regularly need to use them in your recording. You need a 701 to record purchase and so many other things, please. Take very seriously about them in order to save your time in the exam. Immediately as you open to your chart of account database, please start with this account number. Enter this one first before you check on the question paper what actually is required of you on the question paper and then start recording them one after the other to get to the end. Please. This one is the is the way you could enter these account numbers by typing them one after another. This process is actually is quite long. It's quite long at the level of companies working in the professional world. In the, our future tutorials, I will be presenting to us, I will be teaching us on how to import this account number, the, the, the entire OHADA chart of account from class 1 to class 9, either from a PDF from from what form or on in Excel into this section it's a very it's an amazing uh, video that would like anybody here to miss it prepare yourself and get ready on how to use so this is basically how you could record information on the chart of account database please if this tutorial seems interesting to you if it has helped you if you have learned something there don't forget to click on like subscribe and share with somebody somewhere who needs the same knowledge like you. If you have a friend in other universities, in other towns that need this knowledge, wherever you are watching, please subscribe, share the link to them so they can also help us as well. Remember, this is revision without border. If somebody can give it for free also and make the effort to share with somebody who needs it also for free. Be you a lecturer who want to understand the courseware to save you from the stress you've been struggling all this way on how to teach this program very well. Be you a student or a, a, a worker, let this channel go viral to help our younger ones, our fellow, our dear ones, our fellow citizens that have difficulty in this course. I really wish that this could help somebody and I thank God, I, I'm grateful that you are really just going to do what we're talking about. So please, until we meet in the next video, if there's any comment you'd like to drop, please, even whether it's to criticize or to whatsoever, to place a request, drop it on uh, and I will read it under. We'll get back to you. It will help us to see how we could also work together as a team. Thank you so much for watching and see you.